Welcome to the Niton XL2 training course by Alloy Geek. Here are a few course benefits for taking this course. First, you're going to become properly trained to use the Niton XL2 or Niton XL2 Plus and do so safely. Then, you're going to be able to collect good data and download and manage that data. Next, you're going to learn how to properly prepare your samples and configure your instrument. Finally, each graduate of this course is awarded a certificate of completion. Please note that every user of the Niton XL2 is required to be trained. This course has seven lessons. Lesson one covers the safety and regulatory requirements. Lesson two covers the fundamentals of XRF. Lesson three covers the physical features of the Niton XL2. Lesson four covers managing the measurement window. Lesson five covers instrument settings and configuration. Lesson six covers how to properly run samples. Lesson seven covers downloading your data. Note that both the Niton XL2 and XL2 Plus are covered by this course. Lesson one covers the safety and regulatory requirements. This training is intended to teach Niton XL2 and XL2 Plus users, both new and existing, how to properly and safely use their handheld XRF. We recommend all XL2 users take this course once per year or as recommended by a radiation safety officer, sometimes abbreviated as RSO. This portion of the course covers training for the safe operation of your Niton XL2 as well as covering registration requirements, and more. Lesson 2 covers the fundamentals of XRF. This section gives you the fundamental understanding of how XRF works on an atomic level. The second part of this lesson covers the difference between heavy and light elements. Lesson 3 covers the physical features of the Niton XL2. We cover all buttons and radiation lights, the location and description of the X-ray tube and detector, a location and application of all plugs and ports. Lesson 4 covers how to change the measurement window. This section teaches you how to properly manage the measurement window. It includes a detailed description of the different window types. It concludes with a video showing you how to change the XRF window. Lesson 5 covers instrument settings and configuration. We cover setting the date and time, running a system check, entering sample info, configuring x-ray beams, and much, much more. Lesson six covers how to properly run samples. This section teaches you how to choose the right instrument mode and configuration, how to read the results screen, how and why to use reference materials, how to test small and awkward samples, sample preparation of your samples, and running real world samples. Lesson seven is about downloading your data. In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to download and manage your data. This section will also include details about how to create a custom PDF chemical certificate for your business.